Okay. Okay. We're in. Okay, it's on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you no, so much. Uh, let me give you some bashish. Hmm? Bashish. No, 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 tip? No, no. No tip. Yeah. No bashish. No bashish. Do, do. La bashish. Okay, okay, okay. Shukran. I was told Jeddah is more liberal and more open, and that was a great example. So I walked in the hotel, I was, I was pretending to take footage of the hotel, and I asked her, uh, Neba, could I turn the camera around? And she was totally cool with it. And she was great, right? Just big open smile. And so it does feel more open here, it feels more liberal, and it feels very diverse. It's in the culture here, though. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Conversation. You're telling me all around Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and we're lucky enough to have Abdullah as our faithful guide. Very fascinating place. Very much mixed up. Very cultural in the sense that there, we just saw a group of uh, Filipino bikers, Indonesians, Indians, Pakistanis, Syrians, Jordanians. I think there are two narratives for people that don't know about Saudi, which is pretty much everyone. I think the two narratives of one is everyone's on a camel okay. and it's just sand and the other is everyone's just dripping in oil wealth and super rich. Yeah. What do you what do you think it is? It's neither both. I mean, uh, we are just normal like every place. Uh, you have uh, the middle class, the upper class, mm -hmm. the lower class. Your income tax is what? What do you pay for income tax? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Don't pay income tax. The whole live music thing mm -hmm. here just started, right? Well, people here used to go out and go out of the country to attend live concerts. Okay. But now uh, they are welcoming these concerts here. Uh -huh. Yeah, they, they invited many uh, artists, uh, including uh, Nicki Minaj, but she didn't come. Janet Jackson, she came instead. Okay, one thing I've liked about Saudi is it's not a drinking culture, at least on the outside. So people are, they're entertaining themselves in a different way. In the West, quite often, the entertainment is revolved around our alcohol, mm -hmm. bars. Mm -hmm. I'm not a drinker, I quit four years ago. Four or five years ago. Good for you. Yeah, man. No judgment, no judgment against drinking. It's just nice to be in an environment where the, the focal point is not drinking. Exactly. Morning, Morning brother. Salam. Beautiful, man. How's it? Jamil. When does this fill up? When do these places get busy? Weekend uh, nights? Nights, yeah. Yeah, and also today it can be busy after the prayer time. So it will be around 12.30 okay. to 3.30. Most of it will be for every single chair to be busy. R, double E, then J. That is, okay. Yeah. So you're you're from Riyadh originally, but you live in... In Jeddah. Jeddah. I moved to Jeddah when I was born. When did it start where like, you could come out here alone as a woman, drink your coffee, you're working on a spreadsheet. When did that start happening here? Um, I believe it started happening way before I started doing it. The idea of me going out um, without any kind of head job, right. job or anything. I was, I was scared to do that because I thought that you know, negative things will happen to me. Okay. Actually, when I start doing it, like nothing happened, you know? Nothing it's like, happened. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling something that is not here. For you to to do what you want, mm -hmm. and let others do what they want, you know? Right, so is it, 
you're married, you're younger 20s, right? Yeah. Okay. So is it a very exciting time for the youth right now? Yeah, you say? yeah, it's really, really, really exciting. Yeah. So there are lots of opportunities, you know. Okay. Maybe in your country or in your own, you know, uh, in your communities, you hear about all of these people who who started things, you know, who right. were the ones to do the first one to do this or the first one to do that. Right. You know that happened maybe in your dad's generation, but. In our case, this will happen in our generation. So I get to be the first one to do something. I get to be the one who is um, changing the narrative, you know? Wow. So that's exciting. Someone said that Saudi Arabia is a place where people who know about it don't speak about it. And people who speak about it, they really don't know about it. They used to walk from the port way down there, yeah, all the way up here, all the way to Mecca, yeah, which is how far. Mecca is like uh, driving one hour, so you can imagine. <laughs> in the heat, this is this is no joke. The Come heat here. Out. People are living in these or no? Right now, not all the buildings. Right. Some of that buildings they still live. This whole old town, old city, is just an adventure of going down different windy alleyways, labyrinths, and then seeing that. Beautiful. So long. It's like two different worlds completely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From the mega shopping malls and like all the yeah. modern coffee shops. Yeah. And this is old world, it feels like. This is where everything started. Abdullah will not let me pay for anything. He's paid for lunch, desserts, dinner last night. He's very stubborn. He's actually, you're more stubborn than me. Shukran. You're more stubborn than me, bro. Pretty, I'm pretty stubborn because I've tried to pay. It's in the culture here, though, right? Like yeah. in Arab, what is, is it an Arab thing or is it a Saudi thing? No, it's an Arab thing. Arab thing, right? Yeah. If like the guest does not pay for things, yeah, to some degree. Yes. Yeah. So Prophet uh, Muhammad, because this was available in Medina where he lived, uh -huh. so he used it to clean his teeth. So every prayer after prayer, he used it. Shukran. Every prayer, he used this. What do I do? Just chew on it? Yeah. So you do like this. Right on your gums. Feels good. It's got like a little tingle. Assalamu alaikum. You're in medical. 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 Do you understand? No. 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 That's an interesting combination. Mall culture is going off here. And so on the hot days in Jeddah, which is, well, shit every day, 
it's hot. Midday, nobody's on the streets. Everybody's in these mega malls. One of the reasons I wear this is I need protection from the sun. And it's actually, it's actually quite comfortable. It's like way better than a baseball cap, which I don't like. And another reason is, well, it confuses people here. So if I, if I go without, I just look like some military American guy, which I'm not. I am American, but I'm not in the military. But if I wear this, it confuses people. And so they think I'm either from Egypt, Syria, or from the Balkans. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like very interesting how I'm received with this versus without. Like positive both ways, but from a different different look. Here's a little cultural detail as they close businesses for prayer time. So I'm trying to get into this coffee shop. I think it's like 20, 30 minutes at a time. And then once the prayer time is over, everything opens. Green coffee. And, uh, we roast the coffee ourselves. So we get from different origins, Latin America, Africa. Uh, I mean, uh, we, get, we get from Yemen as well. Does Yemen we, have good coffee? Uh, it has one of the best coffees. Really? Yeah, in the world. And we roast the coffee. And this is our own brand. It's not a franchise or anything. Nobody knew how it's going to be uh, three years ago. Uh, but now, I mean, it's uh, everyone is quitting their jobs and they're starting businesses. Where there was, you know, coffee shops, uh, services, uh, IT, whatever. Like you're telling me, okay, a lot of the expats mm -hmm. would move to Saudi and go in their compounds. Yeah, closed really compound, closed area. They don't blend in with the locals because many of them, when they came here, they get the scary or dangerous thoughts that they are not friendly, they are don't like foreigners, like that, right. like these things. So right. they came here scared, so they don't want to blend in. Right. Okay, so they are afraid of blending in with people. But some of them, when they, when they get in touch with some locals, we, they get a good feedback. But they are very few. Right. Should I, should I be scared of you, Raph? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what do you think of all these changes? There's so many changes so quickly here. Very nice, very good. Very I, good. I'm agree with this. It's it's must be before than this times. Yeah. Before than 25 years. Mm -hmm. Because my youth times uh, without this thing. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. we travel abroad to find something. We didn't find it here. Now. Right. It change every day. And you don't know what's coming? I don't know what's coming, but I'm sure we are going to the right way, to the right track. Very good to give people a chance to know about Saudi Arabia, to know about Islam, about real Islam. Yeah. You know, sometimes uh, in another countries, some people make something uh, effect for Islam. Mm -hmm. And people who they know about this thing, yeah, this is the Islam, mm -hmm. but it's not. Yeah. When you come to Saudi Arabia, you find the people, you talk to the people. You talk, yeah. You, uh, as you think now, you are so happy in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. You, it, you will change your image about Saudi Arabia. For sure. And it's... you will use word of mouth for the people. Yeah. Thank you, my You're friend. So Hope to meet you again. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> Yeah, brother. So, Bashar, what were you saying? The, what is this place? Uh, this is for art. Oh. Art, art gallery. Let's check it out.
good? Holy crap. Very good. This is all fun. Oklahoma, in Stillwater. I studied the uh, aerospace administration and operation. Okay. And it was a great experience, actually. It's very, very different from here. Yeah. So you had to know the culture there, experience like with the people. But it's, it's super fun. It was super fun. I love American people. I love American people. When did you come back to Came Sunday? two months, two months ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just came from there. I just graduated and came from there. Wow. Yeah. How does it feel? Perfect. Yeah, I feel yeah. I want to go back there. Yeah, like, you want like, to go back visit, there? to visit. Yeah, for sure. But you're happy with how Saudi is, right? Yeah, now. for sure. We're getting like very modernized. We're getting like all the stuff like. It's way more modern than Oklahoma. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'll go to you're a pro. Thank you, brother. Welcome. It's my second country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel that. So. And we, we've been chatting. We've had a great conversation. So you, in public, you always wear a full abaya. Yeah. Always. Okay. Yeah. And that's a choice. Yeah, this is my choice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, this is my choice. That choice, uh, my family or uh, mm -hmm. uh, can't. It's my choice. Me. Mm -hmm. This is me. Cool. Yeah. And me is a doctor. You're a and doctor? I, yeah. I thought you were a lawyer. Yeah. And a doctor? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Superwoman. Professor. Pro <laughs> professor in law and a doctor. Yeah. What kind of doctor? Hi. Eye doctor. Yeah. Wow. It's been a very rewarding experience and I've met so many cool, warm people. And I thought before it would be sort of hard because tourists were just allowed here for the first time. So I thought maybe it would be closed and hard, but it was open yeah. and warm yeah. and very educational. Yeah. So thank you, thank you so Saudi much. people. Thank you. You're and amazing. Welcome to Saudi. Thank you.